Kenneth, um, I sat here a couple of hours ago and interviewed Sir Jackie Stewart, who's the king of motor racing, and now we're with the king of architecture, Kenneth Martin. How are you doing? Fantastic. Thanks very much for that. You made my night. <laughs> Did you enjoy the night? It was fantastic night, yeah, absolutely fantastic. Yeah. Um, it's always interesting to, to meet different business, entrepreneurial nice. businessmen um, who nice. who have been through the work, so yeah, fantastic. Yeah. Good. Um, you've launched a blog recently. Yeah. How do you find that experience? Um, it's addictive. It's good fun. Um, of course, we're in regular communications about it, but um, I think the challenge of trying to find something interesting uh, every day is, is, is a good challenge um, and also to, to get images and f their personal notes and anecdotes and then also business stuff is, is, is good uh, it's good to think about it because it actually makes you think yeah I think it, it's good to it does you know? focus your mind on what, yeah. what I'm actually doing I think Jack Stewart said tonight you know how, how much of the time in the office do you actually spend focused on doing your job yeah. and I think mm -hmm. blogging and knowing that other people are going to read it is a, a typical yeah. example of you having to concentrate on, mm -hmm. on what am I going to put on here you know That's, uh, yeah. I mean such such that um, I've actually spoken to our web page designers to see if we can get the blog fed directly into the news page of the, the web page you can well, yeah, uh, they've, they've told me. Tell me, me. Uh, they, they've, they're, they're going to do it for me, but it's the usual with a web page. You think, I need to put something on the news section. Oh no, what do I need to do? And the blog makes you think of that every, every day, so why not you know, marry the two together? I think anything that makes you think about how you communicate with your clients and potential clients is yeah. a good thing. Yeah. Um, you've been twittering as well. Hey, yeah, you enjoying the Twitter, tweeting, 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 uh, tweeting is uh, well. That's gonna be. A, I'm probably a, quite a novice at that. Um, although the whole sort of social media networking is something that I'm very much aware of now. Um, Facebook's a particular favourite of mine. I know that's maybe more my personal thing. Um, I know some businesses do use it as well, but I tend to keep it a bit more personal. LinkedIn's another one I'm trying to get into as well. Quite how much you can dra derive from it in terms of new business, I don't know yet. The potential's maybe there, but I'm, I'm starting to work my way through them. Yeah. Are, are you finding that it does change the way you think about your whole communication? Or are you, have you got to a stage yet where you're building this in as part of your, your marketing and, and communication? It's definitely something we're doing as marketing communication. I mean, for example, I spent the best part of yesterday going through a contacts database to try and... We, we, we got 300 contacts, either ex-clients ex or, you know, new clients, existing clients, um, with a view to putting out a mail shot, which took all day, you know. Whereas... Really, if you can collect email addresses in these social media sites, you can contact every single one of them with a click of a button, um, which for me is a great advantage, and I think it's probably the way to go, um, especially in today's economic climate where everyone's increasing telesales, increasing uh, email marketing, increasing mail shots. It just becomes a bit exhausting, you know?